Hi, Christopher here. I'm not on top of this project altogether, but I just wanted to share how I see the different steps in, in, a, pro in a process like this one. So Pavlinex put together this awesome board here with the overview, and there are three branding concepts here on the left-hand side, and I just want to talk a little bit how, how I would go about the different phases of, of this. So to mark that up, and I'm sure I'm missing a lot of things here, um, this is kind of how I see it. So there are these three phases, it's the idea, the concept, and the direction. So initially, you might start, hey, I have a, I have a cool idea for this, for this project. I'm just going to mock something up visually. I'm going to do some sketches. Like it's, it's kind of a visual exercise how you approach it from that angle. Another one might be, you know, I, you could talk about, well, I want this to feel like it's the future of money and I want it to be really approachable because the technical things are really complex and so it should be really simple. But it has to look high quality and trustworthy because when people go there, they should feel like, OK, I'm going to be able to trust this code and the people behind it. So you can uh, you don't start visually with a visual idea or a visual feel. You start with kind of the values you wanted to express. Maybe you put a mood board together. You know, this one here is what I put together here. This is like, you know, this blue is kind of in the electric blue kind of feel. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of geometric shapes in here, I don't know, just some random things. Um, or, you know, you could start with uh, not, uh, not a feeling, not, a, um, not these words or, uh, or values, but um, another idea like, you know, uh, let's just use emoji because it's so lightweight, it can easily transmit. Um, and then you start from there. So you can have these different starting points and that's kind of your idea. But then, uh, you know, there might be some elements in here, but it's kind of not refined from here. From these points, you don't really know, well, you know, what does the logo look like? What are going to be my colors? Um, and then, you know, you do your concept exploration. Well, at the beginning, you, you know, you might have 10 ideas and you, you talk about it as a team. You say, okay, you kind of like this one, that one, and that one. We don't know which one's successful, but we'll pick, let's say, two, three, four to explore. Then, um, you know, one person, two people, however you want to split up go and do these concept explorations. And then you just kind of do all kinds of uh, different explorations. You might just look at icons or just at the logo. You might look at different colors or different layouts. You might write some copy. Um, and you know, you, you get this these things that kind of look familiar in some ways, but they can be they can be uh, really different. And sometimes it's because different people did them. Sometimes it's because you focused um, on different things in this exploration. So at that point, you know, you still have nothing that you can totally execute on, but you kind of captured, uh, you know, this feel now. So you don't just have these, these kind of rough, unrefined uh, ideas of concepts, but you have more things. And then you can uh, you can go in and uh, again as a team you can talk about you know we kind of like this one we don't like that one or we we like the blue here and we like the fonts here or we like the and generally the emoji idea but we would like to have it executed more like this so it looks more trustworthy or so so you kind of mix and match uh, and then uh, you can either take all of them and try to refine them or you can just pick a few of them and try to refine them. And then you know you work out a direction, and that's where you try to get to a point where uh, you know you might have pretty refined layouts. So this would be actually what the website looks like. You might not care about the sub pages, or you might just do one sub page. You might not care about mobile, but uh, you know you're gonna have some page layouts. The logo will be more refined. You might have some variations of the logo. You might have you know already looked into typography or different uh, type of page elements like these dotted lines here or so um and then you know you have a much better idea and at that point you know the whole team should be able to kind of take a step back um and pick okay now we should be able to decide which one we want to go for you might not do another round of iteration or you may still say well we kind of like these two and we want to do an, you know see if we can combine the best of them or something like that but at that point uh you know you're pretty close to making a decision or if you really don't like it you know just go back that's fine too but so that's that's kind of how i see that you work from uh, initial ideas to concept to a direction and then you have something applicable and it's not like you know if here you have the logo done here you have the website design done it's more that everything moves together because they're all you know all of these elements kind of there's an interplay between all of them. They're all related to each other. The color of the logo you use in other places, 
uh, the angles, the shapes, the different treatments, they're all kind of related to each other. Um, and you want them to go well with each other. So um, yeah, that's kind of how I look at it. And I hope that makes sense. And I'm curious what you think. Thanks.